Okay, g'day guys, um, Dr. James Simcock here um, from Vet Dojo. Uh, we've just done a digit amputation, a partial foot amputation on this dog. And I'm just gonna do a quick video to just run through the bandage that I use for bandaging around the foot. I find it just gives an extra bit of padding and um, I think works quite effectively for these types of um, situations. So down here we've got, um, really, I like to keep bandaging simple. So I've got a contact layer to the uh, semi-inclusive dressing um, contact layer. We then are gonna run with um, some conforming bandage, some cling, and then, um, sorry, some soft padded bandage, some conforming bandage, and some vet wrap. Most important thing though, with any of these bandages, is we wanna use um, stirrups. And so, I have Leucoplast tape. Um, I really hate Elastoplast. So, um, you won't find Elastoplast in a hospital. I actually noticed that we did um, have some Elastoplast sneak in um, to the hospital, and I wasn't very happy about it recently. So. I really dislike it as an option for using in our patients. Um, I think that Leucoplast is a much better um, you know, bandaging material to use. So putting the stirrups on, just staying away from the, um, away from the incision, and I'm gonna actually just make sure that on the stirrups I put a little tab there so it's easy to undo. I'm gonna leave that on there like that. And you can see that we're away from our incision along here. The next thing I'm gonna do is put our contact layer on which is gonna be um, this metal and pad here. So that's just gonna sit straight over the top like that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is actually create here um, a kind of double thickness of the bandage. It's tricky trying to do this all in one go. So I've just folded that bandage back on itself and I'm going to separate my um, my stirrups here. And this is the kind of trick to this. So I'm going to separate the stirrups. This is what's going to hold it on. And I'm going to put the double thickness. It's a bit all hand-fisted. The double thickness over the top of the foot. And around underneath like that. So the double thickness going around the foot. Um, I'm going to bring this around here. It'll look a bit neater in a second. And I'm going to leave my stirrups kind of as these ears on each side of the foot. So I'm just going to get a few more wraps on here and you'll be able to kind of see a bit better how that's going to look. So these two stirrups here are these kind of tags or ears as I like to call them. And then we're going to come around and do a few more wraps down here, we don't need to go up above the hock because we're just dealing with the foot here. And I think we'll just use one roll of this material, not even one. So that's the first layer. Second thing we're going to do is go with our clean bandage, which is this one here. So again, we're going to come between and over the foot there. I'm going to just put a bit of tension on that. And then we're going to wrap around the foot here. Remembering that we're gonna come back and undo these stirrups in just a second. But they're kind of just floating out there in a pretty good location. And so I'm not doing this too tight. I'm just really just rolling it and unrolling it as we go. So that's gonna be enough of that. So I'm gonna get some scissors in here. And then the last layer we've got is our vet wrap which again, we're gonna take that, fold it in half. Um, and then I'm gonna again, put that over the top of the foot like that. And then we're gonna roll it around. And again, with the vet wrap, I'm gonna unroll it. I let it, all of the kind of elasticity come out of it. And then we wrap it around. I don't wanna just stretch this really, really tight. So unroll it, let the elasticity come out and then wrap it around like that. I'm gonna come up above the foot again, just one more layer. So we get some nice kind of padding down over the foot. And then we're gonna rip that off. Oh, just here. Now, the thing that I haven't done, I think as Jeff is just pointing out, is that I haven't folded my stirrups back. No, no, no. Which I was excited about. So we've made an error. We can, yeah, we can go more vet wrap. I don't want to do that though. So 
that was a trick and that was a um, test for Aaron to see if he'd, um, he'd remember that I'd done that. So you failed on that one Aaron, I'm sorry. So we're going to take that one off. So this is what happens in real life, you get distracted and then you got to refocus on what's going on. So we're going to unfold our stirrups here. I'm actually going to take my gloves off to do this because it'll be impossible to do with gloves on. Our wound's covered, so we don't need to stress too much about contaminating it at this point. So I'm going to unfold my stirrup like that and we're going to twist that around and fold that back on itself. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. We're going to twist that around and come back there. So you can see now it's got a nice bit of padding under the foot. We're going to put some vet wrap on here now. I'm going to run out of vet wrap on that one. And we're going to, again, I'd just like to do a double wrap to start. I'm just going to start down near the bottom of the foot, coming down a little ways, and then we're going to come up over the foot there, and over this way. And the bandage I always think should just look, it should look nice and neat and uniform. If you've got a big kind of lumpy bandage um, with um, a bunch of different inconsistencies in it, then it's likely that that's going to um, create issues with pressure and things like that. So I'm just going to wrap that one around one more time there and finish that off. And that'll stay on there. That's not going to come off. We don't need to put any elastoplast or anything like that to try and keep it on there. Those stirrups are going to keep it on there very solidly. Um, so that's a nice bandage. That'll stay on there for about a week. We'll change it in a week. Obviously getting the owners to watch out for any strike through or any concerns and if um, the most important thing is if the dog's using the leg very well and all of a sudden stops using the leg then you want to get that bandage off and have a look. Uh, make sure there's no swelling or anything like that. But it's not put on very tight. Um, we would normally leave the toes exposed so you can see there's swelling but in this case we've got them bandaged up to try and get enough coverage and protection of that foot. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to include those bloopers in there. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day. Cheers.